Okay, hello and welcome to Retro Bikes. Today we're looking at a very special bike. It's a Honda Cross Cub 110. It's the only one in Ireland, we know that for sure. Um, it's a very, very difficult bike to get a hold of. It was uh, produced to, for the US uh, very shortly, didn't do very well over there, and mostly for the Japanese domestic market only. And the only way they could be brought in is if you import them more so from Japan rather than America. Uh, they were released in America at about six thousand uh, dollars when you ran five thousand seven hundred to six and a half, uh, based on the extras you got. Uh, this one has a good few extras on it. Uh, we've ridden, probably we've done probably thousand kilometers on it. Um, I've done personally about probably one hundred fifty to two hundred kilometers on it. I can attest for this bike one hundred percent. It's got a load of service history uh, from Honda in Japan on it, with only sixteen thousand kilometers. I think that's six services. So a uh, really well serviced bike uh, as well. It's been personally owned by us, uh, Retro Bike Subman, for the last um, number of years now, about two years I'd say, and it's a regretful sell, but uh, we're having to move stock now and uh, coming into the summer. Um, there's a lot to know about this bike. There's loads of stuff online. They're probably between this, the CT Hunter 125, the Trials 90, and this are probably the the it bike at the moment, uh, you know, the popularity of these things have shot through the roof um, in the last six to eight months with all the kind of videos that you're seeing online, particularly uh, with the release of CT125 Hunter Cub, people have gone absolutely nuts for this and as such these bikes have kind of uh, gone up in popularity as well. So for one to come up in the market, it'll be the only one that'll come up in Ireland. Uh, we're looking at prices in the UK, you can get a few in the UK, 2014 versions of this are coming up at about four and a half thousand sterling and um, that's the kind of cheapest one we can look at so we price the bike very uh, you know it's a price to sell at this stage we are having to look into this bike so um, really really nice bike overall i can't say enough good things about the bike um, and we'll go through that in the visual analysis as well as a ride long video that we do with this one. okay Okay, let's do our visual analysis and the CC 110 obviously uh, we'll see first of all that it's taxed till 5th of this year so they still have tax on it because I said we were riding it personal collection it's got the proper tires on it that you want for these cross cubs so essentially what these were kind of built for is the in-between between kind of a hunter cub and uh, the, the normal cub so this is kind of best of both worlds you have your up and over exhaust so you can kind of have that ground clearance you'll see there's a lot more ground clearance than your standard uh, um, you know your standard Honda uh, super cub you have your uh, reinforced fr front shocks proper front shocks on a dual sided and uh, you've got a proper rear shock on it as well uh, that you can see here a uh, dual at the rear as well uh, we have our uh, extra grab rails. This is an extra from factory. This grab rail here. You have a grab rail here and you have a grab rail here. Single large front headlamp. Uh, kind of extended rear rack on it as well. And um, you have the uh, CC110 side pannier, which is an official Honda one. Uh, you have obviously the crossover, excuse me, sorry, exhaust that you uh, yeah, fitted on these. Here are the service histories from Japan. So we've got one, sorry, one, two, three, four, five. So that's uh, five from Japan. Uh, we've also done our own, which is oil filter. Um, it's a brand new battery actually we put into it because it was draining. So we put a brand new battery in it because the old one was kind of gone. And uh, just reviewing your cha chain, sprocket, usual uh, stuff and maintenance on bikes. Tires are brand new, so uh, you know, all the usual. And that is at only 16,517 kilometers. So you've had more services in there than uh, most uh, Irish bikes go through in their whole life. So at the dash here you have just a standard dash it is digital it's got a neutral light high beam engine light that'll come on as well and your fuel gauge up to 120 it does about uh, you know if you've got the wind behind you 100 kilometers an hour uh, you've got your dual keys uh, you've got the key for the uh, back box here we have 12 volt line as well which we've installed here to get usbs to um, 
so the bike is uh, really really nice really ready to go so that's her that's a little Honda CC 110 cross cub only one in Ireland none, no, none, none anywhere else um, so it's a real gem and a hard one to find so that's it for the uh, visual analysis let's move on to the ride long video okay guys so uh, before we move on to the ride long video this little gem I'd like to say that we're bringing in our sponsor which is us retro bike someone on our new website so our new website has a few new features including much better uh, pictures and videos of the bike if you log on there better description full resolution that you don't get on the likes of done deal and our old website we also have a full new trade-in service and uh, trade-in center and service center so there you can go in log in all your bike details and get a, uh, uh, a quote back on it within the hour that's what we're looking at and as well as a service you can log in all of your bike details add in what you want to get done oil service carburetor whatever you, you need done uh, or other and you're put in your description and we can we can get back to you as to whether we can do that work for you and at what price so that's it new sponsorship our new website go have a look okay on to the cc 110 a uh, special bike to us here we own it ourselves and i really love them uh really love this bike uh, been plenty of mileage on it it actually sounds pretty cool which is unusual for a bike like this has a nice bit of zip to it the handling is nice as well as you'll see nice and maneuverable and even though it's a drum brake the front is actually pretty good we did we did a lot of uh, tinkering with the front brake uh, to try to get it to bite a bit more than uh, what it did when it came to us so uh, we've kind of looked through everything on this bike uh, we also did a lot to do with the sprocketing system because uh, this bike from factory is kind of made for like i said both uh, kind of a cross cub uh, where it's kind of a uh, um looking to do two things at once uh, which is uh on road and off road uh but it made it meant the on road performance was um a little lackluster but you'll see that it's nice and peppy now we have the bike going up to about 95 kilometers an hour and that is with a bit of gust and uh, maybe a slight decline uh that is but you'll see here it's really nice i'm very familiar with the bike uh, it was really nice to ride you got the sit up and straight position i'm uh, around six foot two so it's uh still even for me very comfortable uh which is a change compared to the kind of the 50s and 90s which can be for longer uh, treks a bit more uh, cumbersome we've also fitted a uh you'll hear the beep 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 for the indicators it's just to let you know that they're on because we kept on leaving them on because there's no noise really uh from factory uh we have those uh 12 volt player linked into the battery brand new battery in it it's really lovely to ride it really is the sound is great as well And you go over those bumps like nothing. Oh, it's just—it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous bike. And to have, you know, to have a bike that there's only one of in the country is quite special. It's nice to have something unique. But uh, we'll go through the the lights now. That's front left indicator, rear left indicator, rear right indicator, front right indicator. So let me just stop that. You have your front uh, headlamp, which is low beam and then high beam, which is nice to see. But look at that. Really running, stopping, driving, starting. Super nice. You tax, it's all ready to go. And we'll just bash it in. There we go. And there's a nice picture of her. Well, 2017 Honda CC 110, little review. So if you have liked the video, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, if there's anything else like you want to reach out to us at all, we have Facebook and Instagram at Retro Bikes Dublin, as well as our official website, www.retrobikesdublin.com. Thanks for watching.